A powerful burst of gamma radiation lasted a mere half second, but it released an enormous amount of energy. It was more than our sun would produce in 10 billion years. This brief flash lit up the whole sky. Afterward, a much softer and more long-lasting glow replaced it. Astronomers examined the phenomenon with X-ray, radio, optical, and infrared waves. It turned out that people had finally seen a newborn magnetar for the first time ever. It was likely formed after two neutron stars had merged. It resulted in a kilonova, one of the brightest and largest stellar blasts. Its light finally reached our planet on May 22, 2020. Imagine a massive star, at least five times the mass of our sun, reaching the end of its life. It might be because it's run out of its nuclear fuel. If it happens, the star starts to cool off, the pressure inside drops, and the gravity starts to squeeze inward. And then, more than a million times the mass of our planet collapses within 15 seconds. It happens so fast that an enormous shock wave causes the outer part of the star to blow up. It produces a blinding burst of light. This powerful blast is called a supernova. What's left behind is an incredibly dense core with a huge cloud of hot gas, called a nebula, expanding around it. If the star has been massive enough, more than 10 times the size of the sun, it's likely to turn into a black hole. If not, it turns into a neutron star. It's basically a giant nucleus, the central part of an atom. These stars are mostly made up of neutrons and are rarely larger than 20 miles across. For comparison, our sun is almost 865,000 miles across, which is 109 Earths put side by side. But don't let this relatively tiny size fool you. Any neutron star is at least one and a half times heavier than our sun and has an intense magnetic field. If you scooped just a teaspoon of this star's insides, this matter would weigh more than a billion tons. It's so dense that it makes neutron stars some of the most extreme objects people know about. The next stop is the black hole itself. When two neutron stars merge, they most often create a new, much heavier one. Within milliseconds or even less, this star collapses into a black hole. But the astronomers who examined the flash of light recorded in March think there might be another outcome. They're almost sure they saw something never observed before the birth of a magnetar. That's a rare form of a neutron star with an ultra-strong magnetic field. It's 1,000 trillion times stronger than our planet's. This field is also so powerful, it heats the star's surface up to 18 million degrees Fahrenheit. To put it simply, magnetars are the most powerful magnets in the universe. Their magnetic fields can seriously mess with the neighborhood. Atoms, unlucky enough to get close to such a star, get stretched into pencil-thin lines. If you somehow found yourself several hundred miles away from a magnetar, it would end badly for you. The magnetic field would first disrupt your bioelectricity. It means that your nerve impulses wouldn't work anymore. Even your molecules would change under the influence of the star's field. In the end, you'd pretty much vanish. If a magnetar flew within 100,000 miles from our planet, it would wipe out all the data on every single credit card in the world.